Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to use a big IP advanced web security policy, to block brute force attacks using client-side integrity, that target a single username. This is demo 29 of the AWEF demo series, and it's intended for intermediate to advanced level big IP advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit brute force attack requests that target a single username. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request, and can block all brute force attacks, and prevent them from going to the backend web servers. A malicious user has found that a victim's username is bobsmith at yahoo.com. To gain access to their private data, all they need to do is identify this user's password. This text file contains hundreds of combinations of this username, and different possible passwords. Keep in mind that this file could contain thousands of username, password combinations. We'll use this text file to run a brute force attack against the hackers and web application. We'll use a tool named Sentry MBA to submit the brute force attack. Notice that this tool is already configured with the hackers and login page, user slash login. We'll open the text file containing all username. Password combinations. We'll now run the brute force attack. We can monitor the attack's progress as it moves through the entries in the word list. Eventually, Sentry MBA finds a successful password for this username. In the Big IP Configuration Utility, let's examine the Advanced WEF Event Log. There were many legal requests caused by the brute force attack against the user slash login URL. We'll select the user slash login log entry, that is directly before the account log entry which is the log entry created when we succeeded in finding the user's password. On the All Details page, notice that Big IP Advanced WEF tracks the attempted username during the attack. Big IP Advanced WEF also identifies the login result, which in this case was successful. In one of the early log entries, the login result was failed. Let's now attempt to log in as this user with the password we discovered. The malicious user now has full access to this user's account. We'll now attempt an intentionally incorrect login so that we can view the URL used for logins. The URL is user slash login. We can also see the text that displays upon an unsuccessful attempt, which contains the word incorrect. We'll also inspect the first field, to identify its name value. The name of this form field is username. The name of the second field is password. We'll need all of this information, the URL, the text that displays upon an unsuccessful login, and the form field names, 
in order to create a big IP advanced WEF login page element, which we'll need for brute force protection. We'll now protect this web application against brute force attacks. First, we'll examine the virtual server we've been attacking. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.43. On the virtual server security policies page, you can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 26A2 brute security policy. We'll now open the login pages list page. We already created a login page element for the user slash login URL before we started the demo. A login page element is needed so that Big IP Advanced WEF can identify successful versus failed login attempts. Advanced WEF needs this information to prevent brute force attacks. As a reminder, a login page element requires the login page URL the username and password field names, and a way to identify a failed login. We'll now access the Brute Force Attack Prevention page, and create a new Brute Force Settings element. We first need to select the correct login URL. Examine the source-based Brute Force Protection section. We can configure Big IP Advanced WEF to identify brute force attacks that target the same username. In addition to attacks from the same device ID or source IP address. Once Advanced WEF has identified a brute force attack, it can perform a variety of mitigations for the length of the maximum prevention duration period, which by default is 60 minutes. For brute force attacks that target the same username, we'll leave the default of three failed login attempts. After three failed login attempts, we'll have Big IP Advanced WEF perform a client side integrity check, which will identify if the client is an actual web browser or a bot. Only valid web browsers will be able to execute JavaScript and produce the required response, whereas bots cannot. We're also going to disable the IP address trigger, as well as the two options in the distributed brute force protection section. We're doing that so we can focus on the username trigger and action. We'll save and then apply the policy. In Sentry MBA, we'll start the brute force attack again using this option to start the attack from the beginning of the word list. After a couple seconds, the progress and word list positions no longer increase. Let's open the event log. Notice there are many entries with this icon, which represents challenged requests. We can use the filter option to display only challenged log entries. We can see that there have been thousands of challenged requests. The violation is brute force, maximum login attempts are exceeded. The enforcement action was alarm and client side integrity. Notice that the username is included in the details window, and the threshold matches our setting of 3. Finally, let's open a valid web browser and attempt to log in as this user. Even while under a brute force attack, when using a valid web browser that can respond to the JavaScript challenge, users can access the web application. 
Thank you for watching this demonstration on using F5 Big IP Advanced WEF to block brute force attacks that target a single username, using client-side integrity. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos. And for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Networks Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.